everyone. My name is Jennifer State and this is Steve State. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> we are here for our weekly live event part two. Um, what we're doing is Steve asked if he could color today. Mm -hmm. so. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> so he is here in the driver's seat and I'm over here in the chatter's seat. Let's and try, let's this. Oh. We'll put this over here so. And you have to go like that. Yes. All right. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I have to Gentle. lean in. Because <laughs> i so, got to keep working on this, yeah. folks. So this is where we're at so far. And what Steve is trying to do is two new things at once. First off, he is attempting to do his very first grayscale coloring page. And second, he is trying out the Derwent Graphitint water-soluble pencils. So it's kind of scary. I'm going to have him confess how he's feeling here in just a minute. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, like I was saying over on Facebook, I'm a little bit nervous for him because um, trying two new things at once may or may not be a wise thing, <laughs> but he was feeling inspired and brave, and so I'm, I'm here to support him, and I'm glad that you're all here. I can see you popping in and, and commenting right now. I'm going to come over and read the chat in just a second. So thank you for joining us today. Make sure you hit a thumbs up. Make sure you share this out and make sure you're subscribed so that you can always catch us, especially when this guy right here is coloring because this is going to be lots of fun. If you've ever wondered about grayscale coloring, today is a great day to be here. Steve has made this page that he's working on right now available and free for everyone. The link is in the video description. Yes, I am talking fast so that we can get through this quick and to what Steve is doing. So follow that link. There's also a full color version with a swatch palette available for you at that link so that if you want to try to do a literal um, a literal coloring of that image you can so follow that over now Steve is going to go in and tweak that image for you just a little bit the printable image so that it will print just a little bit lighter for you so hang on don't print it tonight wait and maybe print it either um, tomorrow morning or you know just a little bit later so that Steve has a chance to adjust that image just a little bit for you all right, now we also have two images available for all of our premium members. Becoming a premium member, well, actually it's called um, a Bliss Booster member. We have several Bliss Booster levels where you get access to our premium um, library, which is over 400 images right now and growing. And we have uh, two new images that you can download. Three, and, actually. Oh, three that you can download and color. So I've got this one right here, which is another grayscale image of a beautiful little deer that we saw as we were vacationing in a sort of northeastern Utah. So you can download that and practice your grayscale coloring. We also have this image right here, which is um, a sheet from our swatch book, volume three. If you've never checked out our swatch books, you really ought to, because they're a lot of fun. This one is all ready for you to come and try out kind of the way the swatch pages are laid out and enjoy this one. It's got little lips and little lipsticks it should be lots of fun to swatch on. I also have uh, one more for our premium members right here. It's an oldie but a goodie. And what I did was take the original image that I drew years ago and I did a digital version for you. So I redrew every single line in my program um, with digital art so that um, when you print it, the lines will be crisp and beautiful and lovely. So make sure you download that one and re-enjoy it. If you've colored it before, you may re-love it all over over again so that's all the new art let's get to Steve he's sitting here working hard as you can see and I want to know Steve are you having fun <laughs> <laughs> so um, yes I am having fun um, I've learned a couple things here which is good it's the point of doing this right yeah um, Okay, yeah, I did take on kind of a big challenge here. And one, I've never done a grayscale before, so that's new. I've never used the graphitins before, like she said, so that's new. Trying to, you know, learn how these work. And then to, to add even more complexity to it, I'm coloring on metallic paper. And it's acting really interesting here with these. Um, 
I think it's, uh, I love the look of metallic paper and I love the idea of grayscale on metallic because um, in, in photography, uh, I love like landscapes printed on metallic photo paper. I think it's just gorgeous. And so that was kind of my idea here. So this is what I'm coloring right now. And as Jennifer says, it's a photo that I took. Um, I am trying to do it a little more literal. I mean, in fact, let me just do it this way. Um, this is the original photo, which it's kind of, yeah, it's quite dark. I think I still need to lighten this up just a little bit. Um, but it's, let me lighten it up just a little bit more. Oh, it's too bright. Okay, you can kind of see there a little better. Um, but anyway, it's, uh, and that's what I'm trying to recreate here, or using those colors. What I found was that on the background, I was using these blues. I didn't use enough, I didn't lay down enough pigment. And so it just looks gray, especially on screen. In person, yeah, I can see a little bit more blue. And then, uh, so I thought, you know what, for this couch, I'm going to lay down a ton of pigment. Well, I, I did too much. <laughs> so now what I'm having to do is I'm having to actually go back with a paintbrush and remove pigment because you could hardly even see the cushions of the couch and all of that. But I will say I'm loving the way it looks. Yeah. It's really cool. It looks like I painted it, you know, like. Like yeah. it, you painted it from scratch. Right, right. Like it's not a photograph. Yeah. It does look and so really cool. I think it's kind of cool the way it's looking. And it's, uh, here's what it looks like look on metallic. Look at the shine come through. Oh, it's so cool. So, you know, it's kind of fun to be able to take and uh, move the paint around. I mean, it really, these pencils, I mean, that's the point of them, I guess, uh, being water soluble, is you can lay your pigment down, you can lay your color down, and then you activate it with water. It totally changes colors. And uh, if you look over here... Sorry, it's the washi tape on that lid. Okay, if you're looking at this here, um, I'm using russet right now on there, uh, on there, and so you can see it has a really nice dark brown color, and then goes to lighter color as you get it wet. Um, and so anyway, in the background, I'm trying this ocean blue with this dark indigo. I think I'm just gonna flood it with ocean blue though next is what I'm gonna try. And I don't know if this metallic paper will handle that very well where I've already used so much water on it if it's gonna get mad at me, but I'll try. But right now I like the couch as it is, so you know, I think I'm just gonna move on. I could probably spend a lot of time really trying to move that that uh, pigment around and How's the paper doing? It. Is it holding up to the water okay? Yeah, I think so. Wow. Impressive. In the back, it's not too bad. So, anyway. What do you think, Rosie? Huh? What do you think about it? <laughs> I like your cute little... Jen put her in this cute little scarf. I can't believe she likes those. <laughs> oh, she says, <laughs> Surprising I'm up. Me. See, and she got a haircut. <gasps> she licks her lips. I got oh, up, she says. Oh, <laughs> she says, I got up. She's, you know what she wants, huh? She, um, yeah. Tweety's wondering if you scrubbed the blue out too far with water. Yeah, I may have. Come over here, baby. I think it was probably a combination oh of not enough pigment and... Too much water. Too much water. Yeah, it really... What's going on? She says, I'm not comfy and I didn't get my T-R-E-A-T. Oh, wow, she's really slopping over yeah, there. Yeah, what's going on with that thing? <laughs> anyway. Okay, let's get back to this. Okay. Go there. So All that's right. kind of what's so, going on. So I think I'm going to do the floor first, and then uh, let's let's move this thing too. Okay, that's I'll in take the it. way. Got it. All right. What are you going to do for the floor? Are you going to be literal, or are you going to make it the floor um, green? No, I'm going to be literal. Okay. Because I can look here and see what. Uh, I mean, it's still kind of you know those browns, but I'm going to use the other the other browns that I got that were a little more um, gray. gray yeah. yeah. So that was, if I look back here on my palette, you Pat see, you can kind of see. the sofa looks suede. Yeah, <laughs> you can see how that moves. So I'm going to use, 
That was Russet, so I'm going to use these two. I'm going to use Cool Brown and 15 Cool Brown, 12 Sage. Um, all right, let's see how this goes. 12 Sage, 15 Cool Brown. So Marcy says this page intimidates her, and there's been several people saying that um, Grayscale intimidates them. You were pretty intimidated when you started, Steve. What's your advice to them about... Um, grayscale intimidation. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I have any advice yet. Well, you had a hard time putting your first stroke down. How? Oh man, just trying to figure out what to how to color this. Yeah, I forgot to do the feet there. We. Oh, Mary Lynn, thank you so much. <laughs> you know what that means. Thank you for donating some money there. And... <laughs> Mary Lynn just donated five dollars to our channel. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you. And so somebody's eyes are really bright. <laughs> guess what, Rosie? <laughs> Mary Lynn donated some money. Do you know what that means, Rosie? <laughs> Jack okay. says, Rosie's saying, leave my bed alone. I'll put it where I want it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Oh, she knows what she's, comes out of here. Guess she what? can show off her hair. Oh, oh, she's so excited. Stay. Sit. Stay. Yeah. stay. This so she doesn't think it's the... Okay. Stay there. Stay. She thought mom usually does this. I'm trying to get to mom. Okay, ready? We'll break one in half. Okay, ready? I want you to sit. Sit pretty. Sit. Sit. Well, she's sitting. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. I'm saying the wrong thing. Sit pretty. Or do you say stand? I tell her to stand. 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 She's not listening to me. She doesn't understand. Why is dad doing Come this? Here. <laughs> Ready? Stand. <laughs> Rosie, stand. Stand up. 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 Jennifer's up. usually the one that does this. She's up. like, this isn't right. Up. Up. The, oh, there you go. Up. I'm putting the tree in your hand. Okay, ready? And then up. tell her up. Up. There. there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this being weird? Okay, sit. Sit down. You gotta put the treats away or she won't sit. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am not the trainer here. That's obvious, huh? Sorry, babe. Come here. Sit down. They want to know. Um, Polly's wondering why she's called Rose. Oh, I dropped a beautiful pencil. Um, her name, that's what the people named her that we got her from. Um, and we really liked it, so we just kept it. Yeah, nothing too fancy there. Yep. Just... Okay, let's get back to this. Let's, uh, I got my, my browns here. Libby <laughs> says it's just so bad that nobody so loves much. Rosie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's try this now. So you're, what's your plan? Lots of pigment? A I'm going to try to go medium. Okay, so I'm going to try to go a medium amount of pigment. This is my my main color that I want. So I'm just going to kind of flood it in here. We have learned that the strokes, the the uh, direction of strokes will show up. I learned that with the couch. Oh yeah. But it doesn't matter how I laid it down like like it doesn't matter like if I go this way horizontal with the strokes when I lay the pigment down uh -huh. I can change that with the water it's more when the, the brush is wet that's where it really shows up so what I'm kind of hoping is I want the center again kind of like the top I want the to create somewhat of a vignette effect so this is the main color that I want and so I'm going to lay that down more in the center. And then I'm going to take more of this gray brown, which was the 15 cool brown. And I'm going to do that on the edges and the outside. It's a little more muted of a color. Mm. Rosie, what you doing? She's trying to get comfortable. She's having troubles back there. She's trying to sit on the edge of the... <laughs> of the bed and it's not working. Now if this color is like that blue that I did up top, then I know that I actually do want more pigment with it because it really 
washed out. Like as soon as I hit it with water, it hardly had any color at all. It just looked all gray. And even on here, this is just looking very gray. Yeah. So I'm, I'm going to do a little more pigment with that, with this color. Oh, I can't wait to see it activated. Oh, kind of get some with lighter pressure into there just to hopefully get somewhat of a blend. And again, I'm doing a little more uh, pressure here just to try to hopefully get some of the color to show up on this dark gray section. I think that your um, wallpaper is looking bluer to me. I wonder if, as it's really drying down, if the blue is coming back. Yeah. Jerry's wondering if Rose knows more tricks than just the standing up. Oh yeah, she does. If she was on the ground, <laughs> she'd be showing you some really cool tricks. Oh my goodness, if you bring french fries home, <laughs> she will do anything for french she'll fries. Be, she'll be jumps up and spins around she'll roll over she'll she's, like she's, bust we them call all out busting one. the moves is what we say because she'll just start doing every trick she knows and does them all in in succession and and different orders trying to get you to give her a french fry and she's got such a tiny little body so we can't give her too many so we usually give her like the nubbin ends of the french fry just and she'll just start busting all the moves it's okay let's see how this Okay, so here's what it looks like before I hit it with water. Maybe color in small circles, Tika says, to get more concentration of pigment. Okay, I'll try that. Okay, activation time. Um, what does Picard say to number one? En Engage. Engage. Yeah, well that doesn't really work. I thought it was going to work. <laughs> okay, I tried to not use as much water either. And that seems to be doing a little bit better here. I'm loving that color. Ooh. Everything's gone quiet. Again, try to go a little easy on the water. Do you like how it looks before it was wet, or are you liking it better now that it's getting wet? I like it better wet. Because you were wondering. Yeah. Michelle says, make it so, number one. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, um, Tika said she meant the pencil in little circles, not the brush. Oh. I think... You could just try lots of different, you could try long sweeping motions and see what you like. You are in the driver's seat after all. Okay, let's see what this does over here. Oh, I think I have just a little too much. So I kind of do like activating with the circle motion uh -huh. and then drawing it across to get the direction I want like that. Oh yeah, to get the feel. I'm going to blend this in just a little more right there. Okay, that needs just a little more. Lark is swatching her new Holbeins while she's watching us. Ooh, nice. Trying to get this to blend a little more. <laughs> Rochelle says she has a bird that will do anything for a piece of spaghetti. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, I like how that's blending in there. If 
forgot to hit these legs with like I think it was, not circles, just straight up and down. One of the the feet to show. Trying to get every little every little part wet so that I can get my uh, get activate the pigment. Whoops, whoops! Went a little too fast right there. Jerry Brown just donated ten dollars oh, to our Jerry, channel. Oh, Jerry! Thank you. Thank you so much. Do you know what that means, Rosie? Girl? Her eyes just popped open. <laughs> Do you She's know like, what that uh, means, Rosie? Mom just, girl, just got excited. <laughs> okay, let me hurry and do this part and then I will get Rosie a treat. Do you want a treat, Rosie? I'd like the, the painting. Yeah, um, Ashley noticed that as the greens go down, the blue is popping more. I love that painting look, you know? Yeah. Not a very good, <laughs> first time I've ever painted, so it's not like I'm any good at it, but still, I love the look of feel, it. But see, that's the grayscale. Yeah, it makes me feel like I actually did something cool. I know, that, the grayscale is such a cool and cheat. For those of you who don't know, when I make my... Um, when I make the grayscale um, photos, the uh, grayscale images for you, I apply a painterly effect, and that was my thinking behind it, is I wanted it to look more like a painting when you're done with it, as opposed to just coloring a grayscale photo. And I really like how it's turning out. It actually, I think, kind of is look like, looking like a it painting. It does. I think so, too. Like, I think if you didn't know that this was a grayscale photo when you started out, you would think that I had painted it painted this i yep. think it's kind of cool okay oh wow look at the shine oh yeah that's uh, so satisfying so i'm actually pretty <laughs> happy with how it's coming along i'm going to try to fix that background a bit that'll be a good test to see how the how the metallic paper holds up to a second layer yeah a second layer all right but rosy girl She's like, oh yeah, here and you know we what? Go. I'm not even going to make you do a uh, trick because <laughs> I failed with the tricks. So I'm just going to give you a treat. She's like, okay. From, who was it again? It was Jerry. <gasps> here you go, baby. Yeah. Say thank you. Say thank you. You haven't taught her to say thank you? No, but she'll shake. <laughs> Will you shake? She's like, you don't have a treat oh, in your hand sorry. anymore. I'm not going to gonna shake. Sit back down. <laughs> Here we go. Yay. Thanks, Jerry. What are you doing back there? She's <laughs> looks comfy. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, she looked comfortable. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can salvage this background now. Deanna says, how do you do a donation on YouTube? Uh, I think there's a donation button. I was on a chat the other day with um, little baby goats, and I figured out how to do a donation. It's like a little... Yeah, it's a little dollar sign thing. And I donated a dollar ninety nine to the they wouldn't <laughs> let me do a two dollars even. I had to do a dollar ninety nine to it and um yeah. I had to give some money to the baby goats. That's they were right. so cute. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go over the whole thing with kind of a, a medium light pressure. Um and then I'll come back into the center where I want more of the pigment to show. Ah, I'm going to do more of a um, medium pressure. Melina said she did the calla lily, the grayscale calla lily oh, yeah. you made. 
and she made it uh, more of a yellow one and it turned out beautiful. Oh, good. Good. No. Yeah, this is really, um, I know that they probably can't see it on there, but it feels like it's just kind of smearing like, I don't know that there's much tooth left in this paper to really take the, to take the pencil. But I'm just uh, doing what I can to get some pigment down. I'm really surprised at how well this paper is handling the wet. Except for the fact that it sort of pools on the top of the paper. Yeah, it does with some weird things. Yeah. But kind I think of a plasticky type feeling is what I'm guessing as you're painting with it. Yeah. I think this thing needs to be sharpened. <laughs> oh. You could demonstrate the proper sharpening methods. See mm. if you've learned that over the last couple of years. Does Okay, Tika says, does fixative cause problems on the metallic paper? If you spray workable fixative on other papers, then it gives it more tooth. I would think the fixative might take the shine away. Yeah, I don't know. Be a good test, wouldn't it? Yeah, I've never tried it. I did bring in a new kind of workable fixative that I am currently testing um, that's not as odorous. Okay, and then in this middle part, I really want some pigment. So I'm just going to go like this in the middle and try to get more pigment in there. And then we'll just see how it goes. We'll see. Um, there, I laid down a bunch of pigment. Let's see what happens. Okay, not too much water, Steve. Yeah, you can always add more. Let's see what happens here. So pretty when it first comes out, you know. Wow, that is so pretty. Oh, does she need to get down, Steve? Here, you want me to come get her? Yeah. So you can keep activating. Can you slide to the right a little bit? Come here, baby girl. Oh. Hmm. This isn't really acting very. I don't like the way this is acting. Well, it may be reactivating what is dry underneath already, too. So you may be feeling that. Yeah, it's like the look of it. You know, it, it just makes me wonder if maybe the, the, the grayscale is just too dark or something, like, you know? Yeah. I'm expecting to see a bunch of color, but the the grayscale is just too dark. So I'm not. Walmart Patty's asking about that new fixative I'm testing. Let me grab it for you, and I will show you. The first test I did with it, I was not impressed, but I'm not done testing it yet. This is what I picked up. I heard a lot of good things about it, and it is very, very expensive, so I'm hoping it'll work. It's supposed to be like non-toxic, um, yeah, for pastel, chalk, pencil, charcoal, oil pastels, color pencils. You can use it on paper, gessoed canvas, unglazed ceramic, leather fabric, wood, stone, and more. And it doesn't have, it does have a bit, it says it's odor free, but it does have a bit of an odor, but nothing like the spray kind that I have been using. So yeah, but I was very discouraged by the first time I used it. So I'll, I'll keep testing it and let you know. Um, all right, back to the chest. Oh, I think we got another donation. What? Don. Oh, thank you, Don. Don donated $5. Thank you so much. 
Oh, Rosie's not here. Oh, she, <laughs> she comes she'll back. She'll be back. Oh. Oh, Tika says, try Spectrafix. That's the one I just showed them. <laughs> um, she's wondering what I didn't like about it. I When I sprayed it, it came out in weird big glops. And um, it kind of changed. Let's see, I was spraying it on to... I think it was a pastel that I was trying on the background and it, it changed the way the pastel looked. Um, yeah. So I just need to keep trying. Polly, um, you're wondering about using hairspray for a sealant. Um, I know a lot of artists do use that. I would just, I worry about the longevity of hairspray because it's not, you know, I don't know if it's gonna go yellow yeah pump the spray off paper for a while and then try to spray at a distance not too close okay i'll try that thanks tika rose is back and she said she doesn't have to have a treat <laughs> but I, I think that's why she came back i think she heard me say the word treat <laughs> what she's all look at her look at me <laughs> should i do it while you're working yeah Oh, yay, because I think that's why she came back. <laughs> She's like, um, I heard someone mention a treat. Yeah, I better find out who it was. So I just say thank you to the right person. Um, zoom back. It was Dawn. Okay. Are you ready to say thank you to Dawn? Want to shake for it? Shake. Good shake. Look at Mama. Look at Mama. Hey, up here. Look at Mama. Up here. Good, Good girl. girl. Good girl. Oh, we lost it. Good girl. Thank you, Don. Well, I'm not. See, she asks to get down now. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, Tika oh, says hairspray ruined a coloring page that she did. I've heard the cheaper the hairspray, the better, and you have to get aerosol. So I've heard like if you go to Dollar Tree and buy the cheapest aerosol, non-scented hairspray, that that's the best kind for sealing in your work, if you're going to try that. Okay, so something I noticed is I didn't, I didn't like the streakiness. Um, I was going, you know, back and forth and but then I didn't like the look of it, so I'm trying circles and then letting it dry and just see what I think of circles after it dries. Rose is a Maltese and oh, Polly just did a donation. Oh, Polly, <laughs> thank you. Polly, she did a $20 donation, and they're all wondering what kind of treats we're giving Rose tonight. So let me show them to you. They are filet mignon Caesar softies, and we usually break them in half because they're kind of big um, for her, even though they're made for little dogs. So she likes them. They're small in calorie, and yeah. Okay, you ready? We got to do a trick for Polly. Stand up. Stand up. Good. Stay. Stay. Oh, that was a good one. Good girl. Thank you, Polly. Woohoo! <laughs> okay. So. I wonder why Rose won't do tricks for Steve. <laughs> She will downstairs. Maybe it's just because yeah. we're here. <laughs> okay. Robin wonders if you need a bigger paintbrush to help you get a smoother spread. Oh, that's an interesting idea. I really am liking going back over it now with circles. Um, it seems to be... Do you want to try a bigger brush? I have one. I'm almost done here, so no. Oh, okay. But it does seem, I like the way it looks when it dries. I don't like the way it looks when it's wet here, but when it dries, it uh, 
it doesn't I seem to not see the streak so much it seems to have a little texture in the background or something uh -huh. so I'm just gonna finish it up with these circle strokes and then uh, be done we'll see the I'm you know disappointed with the that the color didn't really come out in the background so I'm thinking that it's probably the fact that it's the background is so dark that you know what can I expect it's sitting on top of really you know really dark toner or whatever and it's not like it's gonna brighten it up now had I used ink tents maybe they would have brightened it up yeah and maybe this would have been a situation where the ink tents would have been good to use in the background where I wanted it to have more pop of color to have more saturation I kind of think the ink tents might have done what I wanted to do well. but, but oh well yeah I think you as it dries we'll see because that seemed to be what happened last time as it dried it got more vibrant yeah and I really seem to lose in the middle there where I really pushed hard I seem to have lost the that floral pattern oh so. yeah maybe the the toner got moved is that what you said yeah like Oh, look at the shine, though, in the couch and on the floor. Yeah. Ooh, that's, that's the so metallic cool. paper for you. What are you using as the flowers in the background? It's really beautiful, by the way. I think that was the... The original photo had the flowers, right? Well, or did you I add added them? the f photo. Yeah, the original photo didn't have flowers. Ah, it was just plain. I added them what you in added. the grayscale. Ah. Yeah. Which I should have printed a second copy of the grayscale so they could see that. Yeah. The original. What do you want to do next? Do you still have time to color more? Well. Um, Did you want to try? The honestly, I'm getting a bad headache. Uh oh. I wonder if I was kind of tense or something. I kind of was getting one before we started. Now I'm really getting one, so I don't really want to do any more coloring right now. But I am. Uh, what do you think of your experience with grayscale? Do you think you would do it again? Yeah. Has it changed the way you think about, because you are our grayscale coloring page creator, has it changed the way you would do images for us in the future? Like when you look at this one here that he has made uh, available. Um, I would definitely lighten things up. I already did that in our books. Yeah. Because our printer prints really dark. Um, and so I already, for, you know, when you order a grayscale from the book, I... Here, I'm going to put you here so I can read chat. Okay. I lightened uh, the, those up because of that, but I almost wonder if they need to be even lighter. Yeah. Seeing the way that that background just didn't want to play with these pencils, I wonder if it's just too dark. You guys could tell me. Give me your opinions on that. Um, if you print off some grayscales and try them, let me know if you think the when you know the dark areas need to still be lighter yeah well, it, you know when you print it off it looks so washed out but as you add color to it I think it it changes so just need to try some more yes you do <laughs> <laughs> that was fun though what I would do differently this time like I said is I would now I actually would pull out the ink tents and see what that does in that background He's um, tempted. I know, but, He's tempted. but I've already gone over it twice now, and even three times doing the circle with color, so I don't know how that... That paper just still... It's not really warped very much. I mean, it's done really well. So, I I think it's fun. I, I like it. Okay. Let's see which way turn so it. your plan for this photo for them is to lighten it, right? Right. So when will you do that for them? So Probably do it tomorrow morning. So give me till tomorrow evening, afternoon, evening, before you go out and download again. Okay. And then they'll yeah. get the lightened version. I'll put, a, I'll put a note on our Facebook group uh, when it's done so you can go get it. If you're not a part of our Facebook group, well, I just happen to have... <laughs> <laughs> a link. <laughs> yeah, Coloring Pages Bliss on Facebook. Um, go ahead and, if you're not already a member request to become a member we'll 
let you in and you can get this and try it out. I'm excited to see what you guys do with it. So Very good. Well, thanks for being our colorist tonight. You're welcome. It was fun. Yeah, that was awesome. And make sure everyone to come and join us next week. Um, we'll be back with another fun yeah. weekly event. Um, yeah, I was trying to think if there's any special event coming up, but I think it's not until St. Patrick's. That's our next holiday. So This is just bugging me. i got to see what an intense would have done. Oh. I'm not going to do, do it on this one, and this paper is just like regular copy paper, so it's not going to oh. work real well. Oh. But I just want to see. Here, hand me the tray of graphitants so they won't okay. kill. I'll get them out of your way. But I just got to see if... I'll do a dark area of this uh, deer with like a dark blue, kind of like what I was going for, you know. And uh, let's just see. That's a pretty dark blue there. Um, do you want another? Should I see if I have anything printed on something better? Well, I don't know. Let me just hurry and do this. I mean, obviously this would be green, well, or whatever color you want it to be. Okay. But I'm just really curious to see in this dark area. So I picked a really dark area here. And I'm flooding it with color really quick. And I want to see if it comes okay. out more. There's what There's barely any water because this is okay. copy paper and it's just going to die. <laughs> okay, we'll wipe it off here and just kind of start going. Oh my god. Goodness. <laughs> ink tents are amazing. Oh, they? yeah. Um, Tracy said you could swatch the ink tents on the back of this paper here. Yeah. I just wanted to see on a dark image, you know, what the ink tents looks like. I mean, it's still. It starts out really vibrant, but then as it dries. Um, I think it's I think it's the nature of grayscale. But it's definitely I mean definitely more blue. Yeah. More what I wanted, for sure. Um I don't know if you guys can see it, if you can even see in here the the blue, you know, if it just looks gray to you, but I definitely see this really nice kind of midnight blue. Um, that's more what I wanted. So that, that would have been a good time. But I have to say, as this dries, it's kind of changing, and it's taking on a, a more blue as it dries. Yeah, it is getting brighter blue. Again, harder to see on the camera than in person. And in, in person, it's almost a little blue-green, but I guess that's that ocean. Yeah, a couple people color. are saying they've purchased your grayscale books and wish they were a little bit lighter, too. Hey, well, maybe I need to lighten them even more on the in the books themselves. Yeah. For sure, the downloads are darker. Um, yeah. So I'll I'll take a look at addressing that. Okay. Very good. Okay. Well, that was really fun. <laughs> Thank you for coloring tonight. You were so brave. You tried metallic paper, graphite, and grayscale. I'm learning to be brave from all of you and from Jennifer. Thank you. You're awesome. <laughs> and you did good with Rose, even though she was weirded out that it was you doing the yeah, treat. Yeah, that was so. strange. We'll that's go downstairs fun. and she'll cuddle with him because that's the routine. Oh, yeah. You we go downstairs do and Happy. first he gets the cuddles. That's the routine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for all of your support, everyone. Thanks for joining us tonight. We'll be back again next week. Uh, make sure you follow all the links in the video description so that you can... Um, get the downloads and um, learn all about all of the fun things that are going on with Coloring Bliss. So yep. you guys are awesome. We sure have <laughs> a good time with you. So um, I have a question about my premium account to contact Steve to get yes. your help. What is your email? Uh, support at coloringbliss.com or you can just go to our website, click on the contact button. Uh, there at the very top of the contact link and fill that out and send it to me and, and it'll be him 
Yep. Not some strange person in another foreign country taking care of you. It's actually Steve yep. that will take <laughs> care of you. So send that off and he'll take but you. But probably not till tomorrow. Just so you know. Yeah, because we usually, after this, we kick back and go cuddle with Rose. Yep. So, <laughs> so thanks, you guys. We'll see you soon. Thank you. Have a wonderful, colorful, blissful night. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye.